just 13 or 14 and decided to. My uh, father asked me to join him on a mountain bike ride with my brother. And we went to, we loved it, and that's kind of where everything kicked off. You know, when I went training with him, getting pulled with a tire home, you know, the tube tied around his seat post and around my handlebar, just to tow me home. Um, he was a racer, he was more like a time trial, a domestic. He was one of uh, Alan Fanier, who was probably South Africa's best cyclist there. He won a stage in the Giro d'Italia uh, many, many years ago. First South African to win a, a stage in a Grand Tour. Um, and he was his trusted domestic really, so um, he, was, he was one of the workhorses, but a trusted guy. So um, I guess that's where my ethic comes as well, like, you know, the domestic helper. Um, but one thing my father told me that when I started racing and started taking it seriously, he was like, never be the slowest, you know. And I've always remembered that. I remember my dad telling me, don't work on your sprint, work on other aspects. And that's, I think, what made me into an all-rounder. Africa as a whole country definitely has the talent. You know, we're dealing with things that are like small things, like visas and all these things. They're so difficult for people from African countries just to get just to get here and race. So um, there's a lot of things in the background there that are hard to overcome, um, which make it very difficult for us. You know, we we forget that we're in such a privileged way of life here, um, and that's. Whenever I go back home, it's great, I get that reality check, but a lot of people don't. And I think, you know, that's kind of, if I have a chance to change things, I do. Yeah, it was huge. I mean, back home we had a, you know, the Friday that I wore the yellow jersey, it was a big thing back home that everybody, all the people in the country got behind it and started wearing yellow to work and things like that to commemorate the day kind of thing. You know, I wasn't there to feel it, but you know, hearing the stories from friends back home and you know, my parents and hearing the impact it had was, was fantastic. You know, you, you kind of, these are like one of those moments like when the country wins the World Cup. You know, the name was on billboards and on the side of the road, Impy does it, we're proud of Impy. It was just insane. So, you know, we've got all these little, kept these little posters as well, like that are on the side of the road and we've framed them as special. And um, yeah, I was the first African, you know, and actually Chris Froome took the jersey from me after that. So no. I went from one African to another, although Chris calls himself a Brit, he's actually African. When you do something as big as a yellow jersey or finishing a Tour de France for your country for the first time, and you know there's somewhere there's an impact, because when Robbie Hunter won a stage in the Tour de France for me, that, I was a young kid and I was like, he can do it, so I can do it. And that's what got me to believe that I could be a professional cyclist. So this is exactly what it is. So a guy finishing the Tour de France while other people go, oh, he just finished the Tour de France. For, the, for a small guy in his country now going, it's possible to get to that level and to finish, not to just get on the start line. I mean, that's, that's iconic. <laughs> A lot of people yeah, have, have the press and everybody have said old oh, over the hill, even us coming at the team, oh, yeah. you know, this is like the older guys. But that's what they think, they forget like last year I won a stage in the Tour de France, so not that old, um, you know. Um, so I think the same with Chris is he's got the ability, he's shown it year after year. I mean when he was down and out in, in, uh, in the Giro, he found another way to win and he won it. So. It's that kind of that kind of thing you can't train. That's just who he is. So I think we're going to see that side of him come out here. Yeah? Um, he has a lot of a lot to prove, a lot of people to to set the record straight with. And the thing is, that's where he thrives. He thrives on that fire. He thrives on people doubting him. So actually, for us, it's better. <laughs>